the two army camps in the first world war the two army blocks in the first world war this is the topic we are going to discuss in brief today aaj hum log ek bahut hi important topic ke upar sanchipt charcha karenge aur use samajhne ki koshish karenge topic hai pratham vishva yuddh ke do sainik samuh मैं फिर से रिपीट कर रहा हूं द टू आर्मी ब्लॉक्स द टू आर्मी कैंप्स इन द फर्स्ट वर्ल्ड वॉर तो शुरू करते हैं समझने का प्रयास करते हैं इस टॉपिक को मैन किल मैन फॉर मैन दिस इज कॉल्ड वॉर मनुष्य मनुष्य के लिए मनुष्य को मारता है और इसी को हम लोग युद्ध कहते हैं इस बात को हम लोग पहले भी समझ चुके हैं इन अ वॉर देर आर मैनी बैटल्स In a battle, there are many conflicts. The Great War, the Global War, the War to End All Wars, or the First World War, was fought from 28 July 1914 to 11 November 1918. In this World War, there were two army camps or two army blocks. the first army camp or army block was called the triple alliance or the central powers the second army camp or the second army block was called the triple atant or the allies in the first army camp or the first army block the triple alliance or the central powers there were three powerful members and these powerful members were astro-hungarian empire germany and turkey in fact italy was also in this camp but italy left this camp for some reasons for some grievances and joined the other camp the triple atant or the allies in 1915 in the second army camp that was called the triple atant or the allies there were three very powerful members and the three powerful members were france britain and russia at the end of the war on 11 november 1918 the triple atant or the allies finally defeated the central powers or the triple alliance many humiliating and harass treaties were imposed on the members of the triple alliance the most important of all these treaties was the treaty of versailles signed on 28 june 1919 i hope all of you have understood this topic the two army blocks in the first world war thank you very much god bless you all please do take care of your health and studies